If I could ask Dick and Nancy to make their way up here, I want you to look at these two. Come on up, please. Because this handsome man is the face of Alzheimer's. And I want you to see his beautiful wife is a courageous caregiver. And their story is really remarkable. I, I would love to say that it's a common story. It's an exceptional story because they have an exceptional hero in their life, the good guy by the name of Dr. Rod Shankel. They'll tell you and he will tell you about the treatment that Dick has been receiving for years because he's had the disease for seven years, five years, diagnosed for five years. And I can tell you that at five years, there are not a lot of people that, uh, that can stand here with the presence of mind, with the humor, with the wit, with the love, uh, with the game plan, like this man. So they will give you what the latest is, and, uh, and I think straight from their story into your hearts, please welcome Dick and Nancy. Good morning. It's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, it was about in uh, 2003 when I was originally diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Uh, I'm not going to read this exactly, okay? I'm just going to tell you the story. <clears throat> I had gone through quite a bit with my mother who had Alzheimer's quite a while ago and there wasn't nearly the knowledge of it as there is now. And it got to the point that when I would see her, she would look at me, but she didn't know who I was. And so when things started happening to me, I, <laughs> I was very, very nervous, all right? And uh, that went along for several years that I was getting worse and worse and worse, and I really kind of kept it to myself and everything. Uh, when I was diagnosed in the beginning, uh, there was some ag aggressive treatments that I heard about, and I heard about this great guy called Dr. William Shankel. And I made an appointment with him, and he's been working with me now since, uh, how long, about four years? Something like that? Six years. Huh? Six years. Six years, oh, well. I was close uh, for about six years. And uh, I can honestly say that if it wouldn't been for him, let's say, let's say there wouldn't be any change in my head, but I probably would have uh, taken a dive off a cliff or something like that because, you know, you get in that, in that run. But when I was diagnosed in the beginning, I really believed that I was going to be going down like my mother and that I wouldn't know my children and I wouldn't know my wife. Uh, and then I started doing some aggressive treatments with Dr. Shankel uh, and I was lucky enough after being in the pharmaceutical business for 20, I think 27 years or something like that. It was a long time. <laughs> Uh, I did have some contacts with some people, and there was a product of uh, over the last two, two and a half years, I have used an off-label drug industry therapy called IVIG. Uh, the benefits of this therapy have been immense. I've been able to maintain the early stage, stage one, is that what it's called? Stage one, early stage of, of Alzheimer's. There has been minimal decline in my short-term memory, and for the most part, I can remember the old things that, that went along. Uh, what, I do what I do know is that without aggressive treatment, my life would have been much different. That's why I'm a very strong supporter of research in anything that can bring about a cure for this cruel and unforgiving illness. 
I honestly believe that I could not be standing here before you today reading, <laughs> sharing my, the, my findings, new ways to slow or stop the progress of this terrible disease had I not had the aggressive treatment and future filled with new research on the horizon. After being in the pharmaceutical, this is just, I didn't write this down. After being in the pharmaceutical business for quite some time, I do know that there is an awful lot of work going on and I'm also very, very well aware of how long it takes. It's not something that goes quick. They're not going to let you do that in that business. Uh, so I'm trying to hang in there. And I'll guarantee you right now, there is no way after remembering all the time, the progression and what happened to my mother, there is no way I'd be standing here now without her. What Dick forgot to tell you was that he can still remember his golf score when he wins. <laughs> it's a journey that we both didn't think would happen to us even though his mother had it. I think you live in a world thinking, or at least I did, that won't happen to me. And um, I've always felt that we're a team, we're in this together, and we're gonna conquer this together, and we're gonna do everything we can to hold Dick and stabilize him um, so that he can still be my partner, he can still enjoy his three beautiful daughters and three beautiful granddaughters. And um, I have seen what the IVIG has done for him. And had he not had that, he would not be able to be here today. I know that for a fact. So, and it's wonderful to hear all this studies and research going on. It gives people like us a lot of hope that um, someday there will be a cure for this disease. Thank you. <laughs>